So somehow we're on the fourth day of February and um, I'm finally watching a movie. I also haven't watched a movie in like a new movie I've never seen before in six days. I don't know what's happened. Um, I just got behind in everything. I didn't even watch TV during that time. I'm not really sure what I've been doing with my life. Um, that said, I it's February and so I am attempting to mostly watch films by um, black creators in... Uh, celebration of Black History Month because um, there's a, there's just so many films that I haven't seen that I feel like I should I should watch. So I started this out uh, this month out with uh, Darnell Martin's Cadillac Records. I really enjoy Darnell Martin's um, um, I Like It Like That, which I watched last year, and she also did the version of Their Eyes Are Watching God that starred. Halle Berry that I saw when I was in college and then I didn't read the book for like 10 years because um, I'm terrible but I did read the book now. Anyways, Cadillac Records is about Leonard Chess of Chess Records that he opened in Chicago in 1950 and it was the birthplace of Muddy Waters and Chuck Berry and Little Walker, Little Walker, Little Walter and Etta James, all of whom are in this film. Um, and funny enough, in 2008 there were two films about Leonard Chess, this one and one called um, Who Do You Love, which premiered at Toronto in 2008, but this movie was coming out in December, and so it got pushed back for two years and was a little seen. Now, in this movie, Jeffrey Wright plays Muddy Waters, and in the other version, it's David Oyelowo, so now I feel like I need to watch it and, like, compare these two actors, because they're both so great, and I can't just, I want to see what they both did with this role. This has an amazing cast. Adrian Brody, Brody plays Leonard Chess. Then there's Jeffrey Wright, Cedric the Entertainer, Gabrielle Union, Columbus Short, Emmanuel Shrieky, Amon Walker, Mos Def, and Beyonce. Going, still going by Beyonce Knowles all the time. Um, while I, I think, so there's a few things about the movie. One, there really is no main character, even though the Adrian Brody character is sort of the through line because it's his his uh, company that he started, um, which in the real life it's it was him and his brother, and um, maybe Muddy Waters because he's the first uh, musician introduced in the film and he's the last musician at the end of the film, but but there's really no lead character and there's no sort of path other than record company starts, record company ends. Um, that said, I don't think every movie needs to um, follow like one character and I don't think that was the point. The point was to just follow the arc of this uh, company and those people who popped in and out. It also futz, futzes with the um, timeline a little bit like uh, in terms of like historical things like when Chuck Berry went to jail and that happens before Etta James or after Etta James does At Last I think but then they have it as before At Last and then they sort of dramatize, dram dramatize, dr dramatize when little Walter actually died and they put it earlier than it really happened and all kinds of things. So if you, you, you know, you know the history, like, uh, and you're like a stickler like Herodotus or something, then you're gonna, um, be like, wait, that's the wrong year. And so that was a problem. But, um, if you don't know all of these things, then it's fine. You, you can just go with it. Um, and the performances were so great. Moss Def as Chuck Berry was my favorite. He was just so good. And, um, did we all know Chuck Berry is still alive? Because I was looking this up and I was like, wait, what? I honestly, honestly thought he was dead. He's 89. Not dead. Everyone else is dead. Muddy Walters is, or Waters is dead. Little Walter died at 37. Um, Helen Wolf died in the 70s. Etta James a couple years ago. I remember her being really pissed about Beyonce recording at last. Um, and, and that was another thing. Like, a lot of the songs, you could, uh, they really sort of felt like the original songs. And then Beyonce's Etta James didn't really feel quite like Etta James. It felt like Beyonce doing Etta James, which I guess is what, you know, Beyonce was doing Etta James, but I didn't buy it. Um, but I, I did enjoy this film and I did enjoy, even though it was very like a mishmash of this, that, and the other, I, I, I enjoyed each section and each 
sort of time you spent with these different creators. Um, and what and what I thought was really kind of important about it is there's a section in the middle where you know the Beach Boys take um, Chuck Berry's music and write a new song over it, and that's a whole you know thing. And and um, the, the songwriter Willie Dixon like a lot of his songs were taken from him and made into other rock and roll things. And the, they have the stones giving, like giving attribution and saying, Hey, we named ourselves after your song, but like they were one of the few people to really do that. And, and so this is sort of a film that's re sort of reclaiming the history of all of this, even though obviously like when the rock rolling, the rock and roll hall of fame, hall of fame was founded, they, you know, Chuck Berry was, like, the dude, and they were, like, Chuck Berry started all of this. Um, but, you know, there's even building on to, from Chuck, you know, Chuck Berry builds on from things as well. And this is sort of Darnell Martin's way of taking that history and putting it back in the perspective of these creators rather than the, like, white sort of, sort of the white guilt um, gaze of, like, oh, yeah, we did take this sorry. It was more like, no, here's, here's how, you know, here's, here's how these people really went through this. Um, and then in the end it shows like all of the time when they all got inducted into the hall of fame and how, sorry, the cat's attacking something, how, um, the through line of what all of these musicians were doing in, in, uh, the kind of music that is still being made today, uh, or at least in 2008. Uh, so I thought I thought overall um, that sort of theme of all of these traditions building on themselves um, really worked and was really wonderful. I made it a perfect uh, film to watch during Black History Month. So if you uh, don't know the songs of some of these guys, I definitely recommend like going on a YouTube like rabbit hole and just listening because there's so many great songs. Um, yeah, so this was Darnell Martin's Cadillac Records. I rented it on Amazon. You can rent it on Amazon. You can probably rent it from Netflix if you do disc Netflix. And it is quite good. It's from 2008. I recommend it.